Hello guys, here with another MLB 13 to show for the PS Vita video. In this video, I actually want to show you guys how the cross save function works between the P, uh, PS Vita and the PS3. Um, this I'm using the RTTS. This is the Road to the Show mode. It works perfectly here and on franchise and on season mode as well. I'm doing this video because a lot of people are asking me how does it works. So this is how it works. So right now I'm halfway uh, a game. So I'm going to just start playing so you guys can see how the gameplay for RTTS works. Short, short for Road to the Show. And how it looks so you guys can see the difference now with against the PS3. Okay. Luckily, I got a hit on camera. <laughs> uh, right now, I am in the Triple A right now, so I just got a contract by the Yankees. Cause uh, my player is playing very, very good. Let me try to steal this. Did I make it? Ah, oh, I think I got. <laughs> I didn't make it. But I'm just trying to make this faster so you guys can see so I can fit the PS3 in this video. Let's go ahead and cut that. Here, like you see right here, you can always skip, make it faster. Okay, so I guess right now I'm on my last bat. That was big, big, big jump. So like you see, one thing that I don't like about the PS, um, both, because um, this year, the RTTS, your player, you don't see your stats before you go batting. That's uh, That kind of sucks. Um, back then, you used to see that. You can still see it right before you start batting. Not good. Oh, got me with a changeup. There you go. Let's complete this. Okay, so here. We're done with this game, so right now we're going to exit this game. Okay, so once you're done playing and you reach uh, this screen right here, right? Um, you can see right here, you see their average of 465, 31 home runs, and 81 RBIs. That, those are my stats. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and save it because I'm going to play off um, on my PlayStation 3. So I will save to the cloud. Go here, save to the cloud. Okay, so right here is going to ask you, do you wish to override the RTTS mode cloud save from 3.13.2013 at 6.10 with this file, which is 3.23, which is today. Um, also, also, you can see the status of your, of your, 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 your date for your, from your RTTS, which is here was April 19, 2014, and here is June 11, 2014. So yes, you want to replace it. So go ahead and save it. It's uploading it. And you're done. So now we're going to go to the PlayStation 3. And now you can turn this game off and just go ahead to the PlayStation 3. Okay, so now that we are here on the PlayStation 3 version of Road to the Show. Um, here, let's go ahead to Road to the Show. Right here, you're going to choose Load from Cloud. Do not go ahead and hit Continue unless you you last played Road to the Show on the PS3. But if you last played on the PS Station Vita, you would have to choose Load from the Cloud. So let's go ahead here, choose it. And now it says, do you wish to download RTTS mode da data currently on the server? And it shows today's date, 323. 2013 9:33 a.m. which is the one that we just did right now like you see right there June 11 2014 same status as on the PlayStation Vita so let's go ahead and choose yes
and that's it you are done now we could go ahead and play we could go ahead and continue our play over here and let's see right there like you see over there you can see the player info 365 31 home runs and 81 RBIs awesome very very good very cool so now let's go ahead and play next appearance so you guys can see how it looks and let's go ahead and see how okay like you see right there you can see Mark over here Mark Ortiz he's hot let's go ahead and start playing okay so here it is look at how cool it looks on the PlayStation 3 like you see this also you can see this batting practice on the PlayStation Vita but let's go ahead and skip this Baseball of the Triple A variety as the show brings you coverage from the International League. Tonight, the finale of this four game set between the Scranton Wilkesbury Rail Riders and the Syracuse Chiefs. I'm just going to play a little bit so you guys can see uh, maybe some of the differences between the PS Vita and the PlayStation 3. Uh, like you see right here, you can see the players running to the field. You don't actually see that on the PlayStation Vita. And this screen right here, you don't see it either. And this right here, when you see the pitchers warming up and all that, you don't see that either. <laughs> and this thing, you don't see it either. Because the PlayStation Vita, like I said, is a totally stripped down version. Um, all you get basically from the Vita is the play um, gameplay that's it here is the batting like you see just like the PlayStation Vita you won't see your stats right there the stats you see it right before you batting I forgot to show you guys and the everything else the controls functions and everything works just like the Vita everything works just like the even the timing and everything which is awesome Did it, did it go? Did it go? Oh, yes. Look at that. It hit the pole. <laughs> awesome. Wow, that was great for the video. <laughs> so, like you see right here, this right here, when you're running after a home run, this is actually on the Vita. You actually see this. You can actually control the camera. And you actually, you know, tap uh, uh, third, uh, third base coach. And this actually is on the Vita, the celebration right after you touch the plate. And if there's like two players on the base and you all all both players they'll wait this for you in in the no at the home play and you guys will celebrate. Um here, this replay, you will not see this replay on the PlayStation Vita. Oh, that was awesome home run. And that's it. Um here. This is exactly just like the Vita. If I press the circle, I could go ahead and skip. And now I'm going to fielding. And this right here is just like the Vita. This is awesome. So right here, uh, what else? So right now, there's two outs, so I could throw second or first. I like that. And that's it. Like you saw right there, very simple, very easy. And all that is on the Vita. This right here, in between innings, after you finish an inning, this is also like on the Vita as well. And like you saw right there, I just finished playing on the PlayStation Vita, and I went to the uh, PlayStation 3 version, and I hit a home run. So, like you can see, there's basically no difference in when it comes to timing, and when it comes to gameplay, there's basically no difference between um, your your PlayStation 3 and your PlayStation Vita. So you're not going to have a problem there. Uh, last year for me, I did notice that there was a little bit of, of difference in timing. But this year, they got it just spot on. Over here, right down there, like you see right there, you can see Mark Ortiz. There you can see the stats of the player, 467. 32 home runs, 82 RBIs. That's where you can see the your stats right before your batting. Like you see right there, you don't see nothing. So let me show you guys this last at bat. 
Okay, I... Oof. Early. Oh, he got me with a changeup. <laughs> strike out. Oh no. <laughs> okay, he got me. <laughs> okay, so once you're done playing on the PlayStation 3 and you're done with playing all your games that you want to play over here and you're gonna go a mobile so all you gotta do is over here play upload to the cloud just like before and like you see right there it says uh, do you want to override the disk save which is 3-23-2013-9.33 a.m. with this one which is 3-23-2013-9.50 a.m. yes and like you see over here it says June 13, 2014 yes we want to click yes and we're done so now you can go to the PlayStation Vita and upload and up download the, the the file just like I showed you on the PlayStation 3 and you're done one thing to keep in mind always if you're gonna continue on the PlayStation Vita make sure you always upload to the cloud before you leave your home another thing is if you don't have Wi-Fi um, on the road or you don't have like the 3G um, PS Vita make sure you make sure you turn on the PlayStation Vita game and make sure you download make sure you download the the save that you did on here right now so that way you have it on your PlayStation Vita make sure you do that before you leave your home if you don't have Wi-Fi and if you don't have uh, the 3G model of the PlayStation Vita so just make sure you do that before you leave your home and you're set to go so guys I hope you guys like the video this was a look of the cross save feature in RTTS mode till next time guys